talk to us now about the challenges of building Mana uh, Hotel in Victoria Falls. My goodness. The, vis the feasibility study, yeah. looking for My the land, goodness. buying the land. In a nutshell, what, what does that look like? My goodness. Um, so the first, probably the easiest, was identifying the land. And this was in 2016. Because mm. I'd actually said to my husband, uh, we're talking about retirement. And we're saying, OK, he's a bit older than me. And we're saying, OK, what are we going to do, etc." And I said, well, I've always liked the idea of owning a hotel in Victoria Falls. Now I'm verbalizing it. Uh, and he said to me, so why don't you go for it? Mm -hmm. So literally within the next month, I you know, took a flight, went to Vic Falls, just feasibility. I've, the one thing which I again I don't mention is, uh, I didn't mention is networking. Although I'd left the country by then, um, I left the country in probably uh, initially 95, came back briefly 99, 2000, then went again out. But I never lost my connections with the tourism industry. Mm. So when I came to Victoria Falls to do a feasibility, I actually phoned a lot of my friends first. And mm. I said, what should I do? Mm. I had a list of names. Cut a long story short, within three days of arriving, I found out, well, don't go for any existing piece of land. Mm -hmm. It was existing piece of building. There's land available. Okay. Um, I was introduced to the right person. I went on the site, which is now Banomena Hotel, and the rest is history. Mm. So the, the actual identifying of land and then obviously paying for it, you know, through our own personal funds, mm -hmm. tough but doable. Sure. Then you start saying, okay, now I want to start looking for the now money. Now I've got the land. <laughs> now I've got the land. I brought in a partner of mine that I'd worked with in South Africa, um, a, a former colleague who I knew had built hotels across Africa, and I said, help me. We do the concept, and we finally um, come up with, let's do high-end, less than 20 rooms, 18 suites, 19 suites max. Um, so we've got a nice concept mm, together. Mm. Now you're looking for the money. Mm. That was very interesting. Because um, the first thing, I think I was naive, because I thought, oh, I've got all these connections. I've worked in South Africa for 16 years. I know I can open a lot, of, door, a lot of doors, which I could. But um, I think the reality, to be honest, is I underestimated the challenge of, se of selling Zimbabwe. <laughs>